Now, recently they announced a Decca Ranger 20 year anniversary special movie. Now, I've never seen Decca Ranger before, like I say for a lot of Rider and Sentai series or Ultraman series. It's on the list. I'm gonna get around to watching it eventually, but don't forget that Decca Ranger is available on DVD if you want to support the official release. And a lot of people are excited about this special. I mean, it's coming out in November 2024, so over a year away from now, so it's a while away, but it's got a lot of people talking ever since I posted that photo of the brand new form. A lot of people have been wondering what other series they would love to see get the sort of 10 year, 20 year anniversary treatment when it comes to power ranges now we did get once and always and once and always was a lot of fun i enjoyed it i still go back and watch it it's a fun watch through the it's fun to watch if you want to kill for an hour it's still a lot of fun to go back and revisit it's a fun experience but a lot of people have been wondering what other power ranger series would work as a 10 year 20 year anniversary special or get the once and always treatment it's been a discussion for the longest time so in this video i'm going to talk about it discuss it and probably ramble on into the mic for a couple of minutes while i have some gameplay footage in the background so sit tight tab out if you want and listen to me ramble now one thing i would love to see is an spd 20 years later since we're talking about decker ranger now seeing how we're getting closer and closer to sort of like the real world lining up to spd's timeline I feel like the best thing we could do when it comes to Power Rangers is sort of do like an SPD prequel sequel that sort of tells the story of Doggy Kruger and stuff like that and all the other Rangers like A Squad and stuff like that, how they rose to the ranks, but I would love to see a 20th anniversary special for SPD. I would love to see like Jack and the gang back together. That'd be really freaking cool because I love the SPD cast and crew and I want to see what adventures they'd be getting up to in like the year 2045 or 2050 or whatever time place it would take place in. That'd be really cool to see and hopefully we can get that later down the line. Another reunion special I would love to see of course is Time Force. Time Force is an excellent Power Rangers series. I love it a lot. Awesome characters, awesome story. And it was actually planned to get a movie back in the day because of how popular the series is, but there was a couple of things that weighed into it apparently, like a strike, and then the other movies didn't go so well, and then Disney bought out the series, so that movie never came into fruition. But I would love to sort of see like a Time for a special reunion, like 20, 30 years later movie. That'd be really great to see. I know we've kind of gotten a Time Force sequel when it comes to stuff like the Sins of the Future graphic novel or Hyperforce and stuff like that, but people want to see these characters again. People want to see what they're up to. People want to see what they're doing these days, and I would love to see what kind of story they could tell with the Hyperforce characters all these years laid down the line because it was cool seeing them again in Forever Red. We see Wes and uh, Eric in Forever Red, but I would love to see what the rest of the cast and crew are doing in today's day. Next up is RPM. Now, RPM, for the longest time, we didn't know where that cliffhanger was going. It was like the biggest cliffhanger in Power Rangers history where no one knew what it meant, no one knew what it was leading to because people thought we'd never get a follow up on that. And then Beast Morphers came around, and we got a conclusion to that little saga. But I would love to see like an RPM 10 years, 20 years later to see what Korriff is like, what people are doing after the fall of Vengex, how the world rebuilt itself, how our rangers are getting by. Is there still a big threat out there? Is there peace on the earth? Or is there something else? Because, you know, you had Professor Cog hanging around, but Professor Cog got destroyed in Mega Force or Super Mega Force, so. He's gone, but I would love to see what, like, the RPM characters are doing and how they're thriving in their new world. Because, yeah, they did go to, like, the Dome City in Super Mega Force, but that was just them sort of in the Sentai footage with the race car track, which was fucking dumb. But, yeah, I'd love to see what the RPM characters are doing these days and to see how they're thriving in their new world, in their sort of restored world. Were they able to rebuild? Are they going to get the news that Vengex was destroyed? What are they doing? That's the one thing I feel like I'm curious about. Like, did the RPM Rangers get the happy ending they deserved and they fought to get? I feel like that's an answer to a question that we probably all want to know. And I feel like one of the biggest one that a lot of people would want to see as well is Power Rangers in Space. My favourite season, a lot of people's favourite season, but... I feel like it's the best one you can do in the same vein of once and always. Getting the cast and crew back together, however many however many you can get together, and doing this reunion special. Because I feel like there's a lot to tell 
with these characters and especially with the ending of Cosmic Fury where we saw Ion sort of have this inner moment where his soul left his body and he talked to the spirit of Zordon. Can you imagine if we got something like that for Andros where Andros was sort of talking to Zordon post-death? That'd be something really wacky, really cool to see with these characters. But I would just love to see, like, what are the in-space characters doing post-series? Like, we got to see them in Lost Galaxy and Wild Force and stuff like that. And TJ's made a few appearances when it comes to reunion specials here and there. But I would love to see, like, a 30-year later special for Power Rangers in Space getting the band back together. We sort of got it with, like, the Psychopath story, but that wasn't, like, the best story to tell. It wasn't focusing on the in Space Rangers. It was mostly the Psycho Rangers. But I would love to see what these characters are doing 30 years later. What is Andres doing? What is TJ doing? There's so many stories we could tell with these characters and see where they are and what they're at. And I would just love to see that. Yeah, so those are the Power Rangers series I would love to see get a reunion special or a special in the same vein of Once and Always. And I know I probably missed out on a bunch of seasons. There's 30 seasons of Power Rangers and I wish I could list all of them off because I know I skipped over Lost Galaxy and Turbo and probably Jungle Fury and stuff like that. Those series are great. I love those series as well. I would love to see those series get a reunion in the same vein of like how Sentai does it or Once and Always does it. I love all those Power Rangers seasons. Some of them I don't love as equally but it'd be cool to see a reunion special regardless for these seasons later down the line with some good writing, with some good directing, and with some good action. It'd be great to see. But tell me in the comment section down below what Power Rangers series you would love to see get a reunion special, get a once and always special in the comments down below. And share this video around on social media. Leave a comment. Leaving a comment is important, and leaving a like is important because that's what pushes the video in the YouTube algorithm and all that good stuff. So with that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Take care. Bye.